Johnson & Johnson saying that booster shot of its single-dose vaccine sharply increases antibody levels against the coronavirus. Meanwhile, cases in children have surged over the last month to more than 180,000 last week, and hospitals are reaching capacity. CBS's Mark Strassman reports. Three weeks into Mississippi's school year, COVID's toll on kids is staggering. Almost 12,000 students have tested positive, with nearly 29,000 now quarantined. Sadder still, Michaela Robinson's COVID story. That was my, my only daughter, my only child. Justin Waddell is Michaela's father. The 13 year old eighth grader started feeling sick on Wednesday, August 11th. She died from COVID that Saturday. We never seen nothing happen like this in three days. It was a shock to everybody, the whole family. In Mississippi, barely one of every three people has been fully vaccinated, the country's second lowest state rate. I have no intention of issuing a vaccine mandate, uh, period. Governor Tate Reeves also opposes mask mandates, even in schools, despite a COVID surge that has alarmed many parents and doctors. Pediatrician Dr. Anita Henderson works at the Hattiesburg Clinic. She describes COVID's impact on kids here as a freight train. And what I mean by, by a freight train is our clinics are overrun. And what would you say to people who say, ah, they're young, they'll be fine. We're seeing that in our pediatric population, kids who can't play the flute anymore, kids who can't participate in sports anymore, and that's heartbreaking. Worrisome to Henderson, more than half of this state's 82 counties have no pediatricians. Little Shelby Davian got lucky. She spent nearly two weeks in the ICU after developing multi-infection syndrome for children, a rare but dangerous condition that can appear after a COVID-19 infection. The staff told us she's a miracle, um, that she was that sick and that she was one of the worst they had seen. This hospital is among those getting the governor's reinforcements, 20 paramedics to help screen and test new COVID patients. But like all hospitals throughout the state, this one could really use a break from the viral siege. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Jackson, Mississippi.